Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Achilles campaign for Total War Troy. We pick things up for episode 5 at turn 24. So last episode, we finished off Ajax the Lesser's faction. Uh, we made peace with his dad, who paid us for it and abandoned his son. And now we finally have peace. Uh, if you look at the map here, if we go for diplomatic status, we're no longer at war with anyone. And this yellow is our territory. And we will turn our attention north because we want to complete Thea, our first uh, territory. We don't have the whole province, and we never had it. We currently have a deal with them. Break out the good wine and let's talk. And it seems like they don't hate us. It's deteriorating, but it's not too bad. Uh, they don't like our past treaties with the Thethalians, but we are going to enjoy that treaty for now, even though we could easily wipe them off the map. No, my wrath. We did leave a little tease at the end of last episode because we have a special recruitment available, and guess what? We have giants. We have armored giant spearmen as our rewarded mythical unit. This is from getting our uh, mission complete. Uh, there was a mission for upgrading the god to the second tier uh, in terms of the respected status. I think we're celebrated now. Hera barely over 300. We can maintain it with this. Uh, but right now we're going to enjoy that bonus by celebrating with the giant. It will cost us a lot of bronze, but the upkeep is only food, so that's actually very manageable, even though we're running at very negative food. And the reward for recruiting a mystical unit is actually getting an epic agent. I wonder if we can pick which epic agent. Or actually this icon... Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Okay, we got a satyr. That's very nice. So there is quite a bit of upkeep with him. Uh, he has a few options of what you can use him for. I believe 8 turns is all you can have um, a satyr for. If you don't use it, uh, you will lose it. Uh, passively, if he just stands here, you'll gain uh, growth and happiness, which we can kind of see here. I don't think it's kicked in yet. Maybe we'll see it next turn because it's not really being reflected. Uh, but that's what he will do passively, or we can have him actively uh, be used on a city to finish all construction in a settlement, or we can use to destroy the morale of a foreign army. Okay, he might be useful in this province here, as we do have quite a bit to build if we get some surplus population going. Hmm, it's definitely a possibility. All right, I'm going to actually throw her into an army soon. Uh, we couldn't do it. Oh, it's only 12 units. Okay, hold on. Let's take things one thing at a time. Let's take a look at the units. So armor, giant, spearmen, heavy class, armor piercing, good damage dealer, good against gates. So like our hero, you can use them to bash gates. 55 armor is not too high, but it's also not very low. You do have a shield since it's a giant with a giant shield. 85% range block chance. Very good. Only from the front. Very solid morale, very fast. I guess longer and bigger legs means faster speed. Melee attack, hit chance is pretty good. Can't really evade when you're this big, so melee defense is quite low. Very good damage. Yeah, very good damage. Everyone else is like 50 something, and then he's 295. Bonus versus large, okay. Charge bonus is so-so. We also have javelins. How big must these javelins be? Alright, good range. Good damage, armor piercing damage. Solid. We cause fear. And we are siege attacker. Alright, pretty nice addition to our army here. We also have a level up on Achilles. Which, once we hit rank 7, we should definitely pick up Bloodthirst. So, Bloodthirst gives us passive rage gain. Right now, all our skills do not require rage, so it doesn't help us that much right now. But this is definitely the route we're going to go. Because eventually, there are a bunch of later skills that require quite a bit of rage. And I feel like getting a passive gain is just more reliable. Uh, alternatively, you can get extra armor piercing damage, which, if you look at it, 
That's our damage right now. If we get this, we go up by about 200 and change. But the upgrade for this, which we'll eventually get, it will lose us one second of attack speed, which brings our damage right back, right? We actually lose damage once we get there. So I don't think getting this is worth it. Each hit will hit more, but the DPS will drop. So I'd rather get this, uh, but we don't have to get this right away because as I said, we don't have any ability that requires rage. Uh, Zuthus Wrath, we picked this up last level. We can make this better by damaging the enemy morale. I feel like that's the way to go here. Rating, income to rating. This is also tempting because we're about to go on big campaign. Yeah, and once we come down here, we want just these two. Maybe we just save the points. We get prayer to Athena, go all the way over here for swords. Because we do have this many runners with, you know, shield and sword. So that would be very helpful. I pledge my loyalty. All right, we both can move. Appease the gods or suffer. Ah, uh, I see. No, only only one agent per army. Because I think she can go in this I army, but you can't rituals. stack agents. Okay, she needs to be in the army. She gives army movement. And she also... It's just pretty good to bring along because Oration of Dread reduces morale. Alright, we're going to put her in this army then. Your warriors will welcome my insight. These two travel in groups anyways, so it's going to be fine. He also leveled up. Mela Argos is doing very well for us. He gets extra range. Right, we, we debated about that. We didn't know what to do. This is also the rating status. Versus... Okay. So if it's between these two, I'd rather get this. Because getting hit by enemy agent... It's going to be a big deal, I, I believe, in the game. So actually, I think we need this. Upkeep for all heroes. Well, heroes only cost food. It's not a big deal. I mean, we're running a very high negative food, but still, I don't think it's a big deal. We're going to go for another 15% increase to the critical failure chance of enemy agents. And also increase this line of sight. And we're moving everyone back towards here hmm we'll take this route in case we had to put down rebellion as well Awaiting commands. Achilles will move out as well well the, the movement difference is huge for death and glory I don't really want to lose influence here or happiness Stone is still a big issue. We gotta get more stone. Alright, we're just gonna leave it empty for now. I don't see a good building to go for. Or actually, we can afford to lose a bit of influence, it seems. I lied. It's going up by 6.2% a turn. Maybe a few turns of this doesn't hurt. We can always swap it later. It's only gonna cost us a bit of wood. It's gonna return that in about 12 turns. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. I don't think we're going to use him aggressively. I feel like in the end, we might just make him stand for 7 turns and then throw him into the settlement for like a long upgrade. Maybe we'll have enough population for this. But then again, we need stone, but we might have it in 7 turns if you think about it. One more turn for 3, and then we can just push for that. That would be a 5 turn build, and we, if we can rush it with this, it'd be wonderful. Okay. I think we're happy with that. Uh, we still have a notification. Achilles skill point. Yeah, we're not going to use that. And right now our mission. Okay, controlling all of this region. That's very difficult. Hitting two province. We're going for it. And we're walking towards our epic mission location as well. I think we've got everything Death handled. The only thing I want to check before. Let's see. Living legend still good. Currently active. Okay, so we're just locked here. Current amount 130%. Because it seems like we can't really work towards this, right? Current amount zero. So 
So there's like X amount of turns where we're just outraged, which is totally fine. We're using the increased loot to basically keep us afloat here. All right, nothing to build. I think we're actually good. Just diplomacy check real quick. Okay, I'm a little worried about them. But we're pretty neutral. I don't think they'll declare war on us. Uh, we can't control the Trojan factions. Okay. Eric and our relationship is getting better. We can get military access. I hope this will be a productive discussion. No, oh, we'll see about that. Do you have stone to spare? That's really all we're worried about. Our lack of stone is killing us. Okay, 23, 24. Gonna be 23. And then maybe we can squeeze in it. Okay, we can't squeeze in anything else. Okay, food. All right, anything counts, you know. Very well. Every little bit's gonna help. Hopefully we can confederate some people soon. We're very strong compared to them. We just need to be stronger. Now my question is, do we want to cancel the relationship now? We've got plenty to discuss. Because I don't know if it's like Three Kingdoms where you have to wait X amount of turns, but then again, trustworthiness doesn't seem to be a thing. I feel like we just tell him this right now. Make him hate us. If he declares war, it'd be perfect. Sounds good. He's still willing to do a treaty with us. Alright, we got ourselves a war soon. Let's continue for now. Alright, our cult has leveled down, which is not good. I should have done the Hecatome last turn, but we can still do it this turn. Minus construction cost? You're getting very useful, my friend. Glory awaits us. So look here. The old man from Skyros, our quote unquote father in law. We will I don't think the marriage is official, but has taken a city from them. So if he can draw fire, we can sneak this for free and then clean up after them. Hopefully he loses this to them so that we can take it as well. And we see a stone. Let us see if a deal can be reached. Let's see. We we might go to war with him. He is at he's very friendly with the faction we're about to attack. Maybe we'll just drag him in without canceling a deal. I don't want to cancel too many deals. Okay, so others plus five. So that's what the Seder is doing for us. And over here we're getting 30 points from character. Okay, so he's just helping us grow 10 turns for population surplus. That's not a good sign. Okay, first we're going to go pray. We should have done this earlier. See, divine ones! Alright, that should last us enough turns for the cooldown to come back. Because now it's plus 90 because we got two temples going. Or higher tier temple too. Uh, minus 10% wood construction costs. Plus 50 to growth. Minus 1 construction for all main buildings. I think we even want to push it to warship. 10 extra percent casualty replenishment. Sounds amazing. Uh, Corabantes are nice units. I think they're the mythical creatures who protected Zeus when Zeus was sheltering away in Crete, away from his father, Kronos. And we get extra morale when you own territory, uh, which is okay. I mean, we're not going to be in own territory that much, but eventually we will. Oh, and another thing I want to check out before we've got to go back is what happens when we do a prayer right now. Okay, so this is a very defensive prayer bonus. We get extra long siege holdout, plus suffer attrition for enemies in our territory. Okay, not that useful. I pledge my loyalty. I'm gonna run him over here. We're the road. Diving for that location right Whoa, there. Now. Do we trespass? No, we don't. This is all our land. Check the oh, defenses. we have a level up. Our our awkward slave trader. 
Um, minus 10% to campaign movement range. Why do we want that? Oh, upon successful action against a foreign army. On their army, not our own army. Plus 10% action against settlements. I like that. I actually like that. Influence to settlements. Influence to a whole province. After us. Oh, okay. So this is like if we are trying to build influence on a foreign settlement, we can use this. And this is for our own settlements. Whereas we just get 5%. Ooh, that's good too. See, that's pretty good. 5% to all action chance. This is just to settlements. Wait, all settlements? All settlements. So our own settlements, which are usually 100%. So seed of descent. Increase our influence. So that's the only thing that's kind of boosting. All right, never mind. We're going with advisors. Expert mm. archer. We can have her come out and pray. Because she's not doing much right now. The gods indulge those who show respect. Because there's no temple in this building, it'll be random. She had to pray here for it to increase um, Hera. But Hera is pretty good. I just want to check out what happens. I mean, we get 10 points here that we are just going to go away. Uh, but we give her something to do. Hungry for action. All right, we can upgrade this, get ourselves our first spy. We can afford to lose even more influence. Because we have the Envoy building, the Megaron, boosting influence here by 8. Give us more. Oh, this costs stone. Never mind. We're not spending any stone. Stone is very precious right now. Marvelous. Oh, seven turns. That's Hera's bonus. Uh, we should have had it last turn. If we didn't get the one turn decrease, it was close. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe we just have to use him at the end on like a foreign settlement. The world's a stage. We gotta be prepared for that, because it doesn't seem like we can rush any building upgrades. We're not we're not gonna get that growth in time. Alright, um that's fine. What else do we have on assign point? Construction available? Yeah, we already looked at that. Alright, we're just marching towards war. Old man, draw some fire. Okay, ambusher discovered. Oh well it's it's fine. Faction destroyed. Okay, that's not anywhere near us, is it? Oh, it is. They got hit in two different spots by two different factions. I'm hoping Achilles might have something useful to say. Okay, we do have a non-aggression pack with them, so I don't have to be worried about getting attacked. I'm sure we can sort this out. We don't have one with them, um, Arcus. Well, Arcus, don't bother us for a little bit. We need to be focused on our eastern front. He's very generous. 38. 7. I like this guy giving us stone here. Alright, that should shore up things over here. Three hundred stone for extra influence, which I don't think we need anymore. I think we're fine. We're not gonna upgrade that. We're gonna save all the stone for this. All right, we need to start fighting, or else we're gonna run out of food. None can stand against me. Organize watches. He's not moving, but we can seize this in one turn, no problem. Might prevails. Confidence makes warriors braver. March to glory. The gods adore a job. Okay. He's keeping the settlement from rebelling. We need more building slots. Anyhow. Um your notification notifications here. Let's see. Agent has not moved yet. We purposely did not move him. Let the festivities commence. Okay, we're solid. Let's uh go next turn okay Poseidon's bounty fishermen from your coastal submarine port a exceptional bounty this year 
double their usual catch. Let's see, what should we do with that? Feed the fishermen, increase movement at sea, plus six influence, distribute the fish, get food. That looks like a plan. Thank you for the catch. They're not moving. Duty first. But I think we're fine just taking that. We'll declare war. Looks like a waste of time to me. Right, it does. Declaring war while having treaties shortly after breaking them, consider an act of treachery and is condemned by all factions. Turns remaining seven. <sighs> is there any way we can make him angry? I mean, he's ready angry with us. First of all, seven turns ridiculous. Oh, four turns. That got finished. We got extra ten growth. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. We are gonna try something here. My rage burns. Check the defenses. We're gonna try to raid him. And make him angry at us. But not with Achilles' army. With his army. State your orders. Oh, he doesn't like raiding. Never mind. Um Onward to glory. Organize We, we just trespassed. Move it, men. Check the defenses. We're gonna raid. Generate income. A thousand two hundred. Wow. We've been missing out. We've been missing out. Leave them nothing. Okay. I'm gonna force them to fight us so we don't get that treachery thing. The growth is gonna work out. We just gotta keep Hera happy. She is very happy. Three more turns for another Ecatomb. Construction, construction, yeah, these are old news. What's going on over here? Imminent rebellion. Yeah, no worries. We, we fought off another one. You know, we can fight off another one. No big deal. All right, let's continue. Let's see if uh, he's going to ambush right behind. Victory. Show me blood. That way, if they come for us, we will outnumber them. So let's go. All right, we have rebels attacking us. Um, once again, we can't delegate this, but we... They're stronger this time. Experienced troops. Level 1 general though. I mean, our guys picked up a little bit of experience from the last fight as well. We guess we have to fight this. This could be rough. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. It looks like a foggy day, which is strange for them to pick because they also have two range units. We have three, but this guy is really just a flanking unit. Uh, they picked the area with two openings. I'm gonna fight them here. Might turn this off. Try to hold like this. And ready for the Achaeans. Ready to throw. Gonna have them. They're gonna go out. He's gonna wait here and challenge their general. And the young spears will flank from the side. There's one axe unit. That's who they're gonna be good at fighting. I think this will be okay. These guys are fast. Keep them a little bit back in case the slingers come for us. I believe they can hide in shrubs. Yep, shrubs. Oh, not tall grass, maybe. This is tall grass, yeah, not shrubs. Okay, so we can't hide here. I don't think they'll care about us being on their flank. AI's not that paranoid. Even though they really should. I think they're gonna mainly come through here, so this choke is gonna be fine. Hold on. Do we outperform them? 
Yeah, we do. But last time we outperformed them and, and we still got routed. Like, he had more morale than us. Which was super annoying. Alright, Slingers are firing. It's okay. It's a... We have shield. It's a foggy day. They're not gonna hit us for that much. Alright, move out. Move out. Take him on. They're going straight for the... The capture, it seems. Alright, go, go, go. Your hero is under attack. Alright, we got the fighting commenced over here. They turn around. Loop, loop, loop. Hold. See, the morale is dropping like crazy. Either he has a morale reducing move, or just getting surrounded by enemy units make the general uneasy even in a duel. Alright, he can handle both of them. Fire at the... maybe not that... Uh, actually it's fine. Doesn't really matter who. We're hitting from the back, so it's gonna be pretty good either way. We'll try to corral both of them together with one unit. Sometimes this can backfire, they can just turn around and try to shoot us. Your warriors are losing heart. It's our general. Flank. He's gonna bounce back. What are we doing here? Chase them. It's not very efficient here. Alright, go melee. Charge that. We'll let them just fight it out here. Warriors are rallying. Ah, oh, General's back, finally. Combat ready. Spears. We should be fine. We still have two backup units later. I assume they should both win. Against Slingers. Oh, come on, Rao. They're so close. Alright, we got them. Come fight. Uh, our spearmen routed. Make sure they don't come back. Massacre them! Destroy them! Awaiting orders! Alright, one of them keep hitting that. You will take care of them. He's losing. To a slinger. I mean, they, he got shot in between, but still. I don't see how he's losing. Oh, please. Can these spearmen please route? Alright, there we go. Our general seems to be dead. Stay on them. Oh, he's gone. Good, good, good. Uh, th yeah, this crossfire business is bad. Alright, we got our spear back. See if we can get them flanking. Oh, they're not routed. That's not good. That's not good. He's going for the capture point. That's cheating. He's gonna bounce back too. Uh, the foe is capturing your victory. Yeah, point. not good. Yeah, and they lost over here too. General bounce back. Hmm. We're gonna get killed before we get there. Actually, back off a little. I think we can take him out like this. Uh, he, he just routed us. Alright, they routed. This one's now capturing our area. Oh, they're coming. It's not good. 
get get rid of them first. Retreat! Oh, they just routed. I think we lost this one. The more experienced uh, rebel troops got us. It's not like the first rebellion army. Take care. You are losing ground. I'm losing more than ground. All right, that's lost. We have to recapture this. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh, got whacked real hard there. Our ambush got foiled, got detected. We got our decree. Poseidon's anger grows. This is about Trojan Wall. Rebellion. Yep, we know about that. Our defender is ready for duty again. So decree-wise, we're coming down this way because we want to give our light infantry extra attack, extra defense, and um, eventually extra replenishment. I think we'll go for defenses that evasion first. Well, he's not falling for it. He's not declaring war on us. He did move this army over, so there is this opening where we can finish our epic mission. But I really don't want to occur the trustworthy hit with every faction around us. I don't want to go back into a war with everyone. So instead... Well, actually, you know what? We should have done this before we did that. We should have done this. Extra income from raiding. We can actually make quite, you know, good income from raiding here. Um, but let's switch to March. We have ground to cover. We're going here. Keep together. Still haven't used our giants yet. We will They'll just be right here. It doesn't affect our growth, it doesn't affect our strategy here. This is still safe. Uh, we might have to watch this, but right now it seems okay. They burned it down. Oh, we never developed it really that much. We weren't really going for high level here. But I think we can just end turn very soon. Two turns. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah, we have stone now, which is nice. Um, let's just continue. Bartering agreement, giving us stone for a lot of wood. Um, I mean, we do have a lot of extra wood. It's not as bad as it seems on paper. The 2,000 flat wood is fine. The bartering part is a little bit shaky, but I think this is even fine for the stone. But maybe we can just barter this a different way. That's fine. We're, we're fine on resources. Let's just no deal. Alright, a good thing and a bad thing happened. The bad thing is the Thethelians, they took it before we could take it. So it's back in their hand. We're trespassing now. The good news is, look at that. Their armies went to go fight the old man. The old man got wiped. He sent a new army over. Blessing. But they're weak. That's our opportunity. We swing down this way. Understood. We can't reach it, but we can... In get very close name. to it. We can raid here. Noble How much is it to raid? 50%, okay. 53%. 50%. Oh, let's be safe. 53. Sometimes it rounds up a little, like 49.5, and then you can't raid. Before we raid, let's pick up that skill. It seems like we like raiding. It's very lucrative. Yeah, we're gonna raid. And he's gonna loop around here. If he can ambush here, it'd be really good. Yeah, that way he can stay safe. And then they can meet up over here, and maybe even attack here. Yeah, we're gonna break that trustworthy business. This is the opening we're waiting for. Ideally, they will continue to go attack this, but it doesn't seem like they're strong enough to do that.
The gods adore a joke. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. I think one more turn on this. Yeah, one more turn. Let's continue. Tidal waves. What, what's what's happening now? Minus 50%. Are you serious? Plus 100% construction. Cost. Oh my gosh. Rumors of weakness. Some new challengers? Not yet, but it's coming. Okay, I don't mind new challengers. I do mind everything becoming more expensive. That's just ridiculous. Our plan. Our grand plan. Uh, nothing is going according to plan. To war. Looks like a waste of time to me. It's fine. You asked for. What's the global penalty here? Oh, no one cares. There's no treachery. Oh, trespass. Well, that's because we trespassed at them. We broke treaties with them. We raided them. We're gonna finish them. Commander of Myrmidons. Glory awaits. Us. So, yes. I believe the best play is actually to wipe this out. Achilles comes in as reinforcing army on march. He has eight units, nine units in the garrison. That will never work. Plus fifteen that's outside. We have much more than that, but it's a city siege, so that's another problem. But we can maybe drag them out from the city I'll by attacking him. Rather than My take the food and then take them next turn. Cause they're replenishing, you can see the plus sign. Ready to march. We're going for it. We'll come from the same direction. Let's get going. Expert Archer. Um, what do we want? We want her to. No, no, not this. We want her to hit the settlement for a morale decrease. That's not what she's good at. She's good at four. Okay. Perfect. Morale decrease the army. 35%. So low. 60%. I mean, it's only this small army, but yeah, it's probably not worth it. Maybe stay inside for the sacrifice. There's a chance we get something good. Enemies beware. Okay, we have to attack the city because attacking him, Achilles can't reinforce unless... Oh, there, there might be an angle where we can. It's where this circle overlaps. Get moving, men. Oh, we hit. Okay, we entered our uh, epic mission. Every night, as Achilles lay in slumber, ruinous dream comes to him. That's well. We read this already. We came to meet uh, Chiron to see if he can offer us some wisdom. The most honorable of the centaur spoke harsh words about Achilles' destiny. Wise Chiron, the man who shaped a timid boy named Ligi Ligiron into the fierce warrior you are today, consults the omens and speaks solemnly of your fate. Before you lie two paths, O oh mighty Achilles. One leads to a near death, or by a glorious one. The other, though longer, meanders into obscurity. If you are to be remembered for an age, then you must yours, then yours must be the way of violence. If we reject this prophecy, okay, we pick up a different mood and we get hubris. If we embrace, we become outrage, godlike outrage. This is what we have basically, and then divine veil extra ten percent, twenty percent melee attack on all unit. Ah, it's the mood changing one. Well, I want to stay in this for now, so we'll go for this. So no, no big change. War makes the man. Oh, we can get him. We can get him with Achilles helping. There we go. Get that angle, the... that little area right there. He ran. Okay, so we don't have to deal with him. That's fine too. 
Because now we have two My less units perfect. to deal with in this settlement. Now the question is, do we have anything available to us? I don't care about influence. Foreign armies? Movement? Doesn't matter. He's really anti-agent. We already checked this out. It's not very high. 35% chance. 65% negative outcome. Well, give us a shot. Wounded. We got the 7%. <laughs> Not only did she fail, she got wounded. Now it takes time for her critical failure. It takes time for her to rest up. Not everything is going smoothly. Uh, we will fight this. That's going to be the end of this episode here. We are two turns away. What happened to our growth? Marvelous. <sighs> this plan is just not going to work, is it? He's going to time out by the time we get this. And we, I don't want to build it now because Poseidon is raging for the next four turns. I guess this would be the time to go with Song of Discord. 100% chance. Cost us 30 gold, but we can definitely make this an easier fight. This will pretty much help us wipe out this faction. He has a couple territories on this side, but I doubt he has any more armies. There goes our epic agent. Reducing enemy morale, Song of Discord. We can't really... They have giants. Because they have this. Giant vanguards. Legit army. Alright, maybe we definitely needed that. Let's go fight them. Ah, oh, he doesn't have siege attacker. We're running into all sorts of problems. Well, we have to build this then. And continue sieging. Hopefully they come out and fight us, or maybe pull this army back. I don't know, but... Definitely things are not going according to plan. We have another level up. Because of epic mission, that's right. Oh, we want extra defense for all units. Let's go. Alright. Let's continue then. Um, I think we can do this. Let's not forget. Alright. She's very close to warship. We're also very close to running out of food. Uh, we'll grab this and then grab that. Well, I'm sure we'll get a lot of food from the post battle. Loot. Alright, let's continue. What do you want now? He just got wiped. He wants some food. He, he will give us some food for a lot of wood. No deal. Ah, uh, we might go to war with you later. Centaur requires this. Tidings of war. In Sparta, Paris of Troy dishonored the house of Atreus by stealing away King Menelaus' wife. So we're finally getting to the real deal of the story. Great trouble unsettles both the heaven and the earth. Okay, so we're basically asked to help. I mean, we're not part of this oath. We were never Helen's suitor. All right, we need to stay, stay out, outraged. Uh, beneath your notice. I mean, this is what real Achilles would do, but the minus ten diplomatic relationship does hurt. 200 wood is not a lot to pay. We haven't been building for a long time. Uh, 50 gold is also not a lot to be paying. We get one turns of improved relationship and we can stay outraged for 10 more turns. Yeah, let's stick to this. Also going to get a rebellion because our satyr is gone. A gathering of wolves, maintaining a total of 10 units of the falling. We have this. I promise you we have this. Champions of... Yeah, we have a bunch of these, a bunch of these, a bunch of these. We don't have any of these. These require level 4 buildings and we don't have that. Finished. Exactly. Currently 15. We need to go to Skyros. Gleam from the sublime bronze of marching Myrmidons followed blameless Achilles to Skyros, a mighty Trojan commander named 
Dryopos, a Dryopos, dry, dryops, marshals his men in the island city of Skyros to hold firm against the key aggression. If you are to break Troy's resolve and prove your might, you will have to defeat their force on battlefield, thus leaving no doubt that you above all are favored by the gods. It is time to march your troop to battle and crush opposition. Giant vanguard recruitment available. Okay. The Skyros, I thought it's under friendly control. But we have to come here and fight them? I'm a little confused about the process, but I don't mind fighting them because we can take this back. Uh, they didn't come out, and he's on the run for some reason. Uh, we'll end our episode with that. But in the meantime... I'll do it right. Oh! We get Patroc- okay. Our dear friend is here, which is draining our food a bit more. He's a fighter. So we grew up with him. Um, there are some versions of the story that says we are lovers, but uh, there's other sources that just says very dear friend. And um, his death is what really got us enraged. What is his motivation? What is his everything? Oh, he likes to be reinforced. Perfect. Hera reinforced. Join the club. Okay. Okay, he'll be pretty good. Um, he can help us put down the rebellion. That's a good timing because it's happening. And we'll just fight. I don't think there's much else to do. Supply. Oh. We should be fine after the battle. Make them pay. We can change stance. All right, this way we don't come in like super tired. Check the defenses for victory. Let's go. All right, dry is fine. It's a very interesting layout. We have a bunch of lakes, and it's shaped like, you know, a three-way, a Y-shaped settlement with a gate on each side. Achilles coming from this side. We're gonna go meet him. And I guess we force down one side, or do we... We could fake attack on the other side, make Achilles comes in and make things a little easier. Like we do have a ram. You know what, we're gonna keep the ram and another militia over here, and we're gonna move everyone else to Achilles side. And then they're just gonna go in, try to sneak, and like you know, force the enemy to deploy a few troop, like that. <laughs> like the gods uh, smile. Pretty good. Reinforcements are here. All right, they put everyone on this side. Are they gonna march out? They're not. Okay, good. Alright, give Achilles man some time. Achilles will bash this door open. And then we just have to sustain fire. Oh, well, we got the big shield. 85%. And then we have some really good defensive troops here. They have 60%. Speed this up. They're just slow. <laughs> They're expendable. Giants can also attack gates. Okay, let's 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 send him this way. We'll let him solo one gate by himself. I don't know if he can sustain against four towers shooting at him, but like if he can, that'll be amazing. 
and we'll see if that's a viable strategy having giants like solo a gate Achilles that's yours everyone else move can we give them a speed boost yeah everyone move faster Let's see our giants they're just bigger humans they're not like giant giants this is not Game of Thrones We're gonna give him a command and then just ignore him. Bash this door, can we see it? Can't see the door. The camera lock. There we go. Now he knows what to do. Go, go, go. And uh, we'll have them absorb fire for Achilles. We probably want these guys to go in right when the door opens. I only selected one of them. Flingers move up. Not very efficient, but you guys were rushing after we take the gate. How's our giants doing? Giants. Charge! Oh, well, they're going. Achilles to the walls! Alright, they're firing. They can actually move up a little bit closer. They don't have the range coverage. All right, they're bashing that open. Move these a little closer. These guys don't have, uh, two of them don't have shields, so I'm going to keep them a little the bit farther in the back. The gates. Did we break it? 14%? Well, they're here. They're bashing it down. We didn't lose any single unit, but we lost a bunch of health. Are they maneuvering back? They are. Okay, so we'll stress them out a little bit by suiciding this militia group into the gate so they don't all leave. How's the gate doing? 30%. How's this gate doing? 50%. Okay. We're going to burst through with the giants first. Firing here. I'm not taking the ladders. This guy's so injured. 85. Your hero is under attack. This is like Return of the Kings, except for we don't have trolls, we have giants. Have We're destroyed. in! We're gonna avoid this elite unit. They're also a giant vanguard. We're gonna loop around the city. Ah, this camera angle is really messed up. Coming through. Giants! Alright, if they're gonna run away, we're, we're just gonna keep going. Achilles, when's the door opening over here? Oh, he just perfect timing. You are about to capture the gates. Charge in. Alright, give them better charge. Clear a path, open this up. Go inside. Actually, don't let them block it. One of your units has no more ammunition. You guys go in. Now you stay here. Ah, uh, giants versus giants. It's a fair fight. Ours are a little bit better. It's a very violent fight. All right, we got them. Off to, war. Off to flanking. Young spears against giants. 
Achilles, take the enemy hero. Oh, our militias got wrecked. Alright, I don't care about militias. They can get wrecked. Oh, we're just all cramped over here. You have captured the gates. I'm gonna use this on him. Reduce his armor. It's like so hard to get through this gate. Giants. All right, we'll clear the gates. Let's just do something useful. We only lost one full unit. We got injured quite a bit, but like the unit's not dead. We're definitely taking up a lot of damage. And these guys are just gonna cramp up the door even more, so we're not gonna throw them in here. Giants, run. Did we even break this door or just, just the siege weapon died? Oh, we broke it. All right, so we're keeping them busy over here. Good. Oh, we killed him. Knocked him out. More charge. Charge. Bust it open. Alright, you guys can move up. You guys can stop tanking. You guys did really good. Come in here. How fast can we kill these guys? Achilles! And we killed off all the range unit on the wall too. Inside. Clear this doorway. Alright, we broke through. Let's go. Group two. Go in. The enemy is trying to capture the gates. Oh, these giants are amazing. This way. They're fast too. We can have them chase down things. Really charge that. We want all our swords. These two. We lost one of these guys. Definitely a costly siege, but such as war. Alright, we're gonna give them something to do. Kill our militias. Achilles, give everyone behind charge, charge in, range units clear inside, get inside, get inside, those of you who are not ranged, move forward, Uh, so hard to get through here. There's units trying to run out and there's us trying to get in. Traffic time. They're starting to pull units back, but I think it's too late. Your warriors are losing heart. Which one? Oh my god. Get through the door. Everyone move faster. Victory is close enough to taste. Alright, I'll go hold them. Oh, we can use this now. Let's heal. More speed, no cooldown abilities, everything's back. We're gonna use this, reduce morale on them. Your warriors have been routed. Hold this. Achilles, stop those guys. No cooldown means we can just keep using speed up. How are we still not inside? <laughs> Warriors are rallying. More speed. Twelve more seconds. The 
enemy has lost a victory point. We got it. All right, we just gotta hold it now. Can you guys please come help? Our militia made it. They they got knocked out, but then they rallied, and uh, maybe they'll yeah maybe they they got inside. We can chase one of their range units around. We healed from our ability there. Nice. I'll give everyone something to do. Hold this side. There's enough men on that side. The foe is capturing your victory point. No, they're not. Range unit stand here. Fire at him. Fight him. Oh, uh, everyone's finally inside. Took them long enough. How do they let them flank get through? Ah, uh, there's really no need. I mean, he can go fight melee. He used up all his range already. All right, we got him one-on-one. -on -one. We have him sniping him from the far away. All right, can we get a flank? Killy isn't winning this, like straight up. Mm. Where's the javelin? Yeah. Get him. You're too slow. You flank with two units. We got. Uh, that's it. That should be it. Costly victory for sure. Maybe close. Yeah. Alrighty. Like two slaps to the face at the end for extra measures. Better be a lot of food. Oh my god, that's a lot of food. Okay, we don't care about bankruptcy here. We definitely lost more men than if we just delegate it. All three of our champion of Thea got wiped, which is really sad because they had a lot of rank on them. Uh, we had them charge in first and we didn't really manage our health, being unbreakable as is cons. Um, aside from that, no other major losses. And we can just occupy here. Ooh, exceptional warriors because they are centaurs here. So maybe those can replace our you know loss unit here. We found the heavy iron tip javelin, which went to him. Boost javelin units, which we don't have in that army. 8% armor piercing damage to hero. I think that should go to Achilles. Bronze mirror, extra morale, extra motivation. That's fine. He can keep that one. He did the call. Reinforced your own force. Extra movement. Nice. So. Champion of champions. Let's see. Oh, it's actually a weapon. Oh, we're keeping our dad's spear then. I win. They we can die. maybe eventually go for some uh, javelin in the future, or maybe have a you know, uh, Petrocles can maybe equip with that, and then we can build some of javelin units because we do have a elite javelin man as part of our faction unit. Yeah. And we're not done. We're gonna quickly delegate this for a win. Don't hold back. Send them packing. There we go. We finished our control of our original province. It took us a long time. Took it very slow with the diplomatic relationship here. This place is mine. We finished our growing influence. He is ours. We lost another unit. Well, as long as we don't lose the giant, I'm okay. And since we're back here, we can recruit from our original roster, which includes some of our elite units. Uh, we'll come back and take care of our army, uh, you know, going forward. I th think we don't have access to the cavalry units yet. It might be a special building. Yep, it will take a special building. So we'll get that resolved. We have to level this up. And it seems like we have to grab that and this somehow. And uh, we'll also go grab this new faction near us 
I feel like we probably have to go to war with most of the faction here uh, before we push out to Skyros because we're still friendly with the old man and there's no reason to uh, destroy him right now. Our food is very negative but it's fluctuating very heavily because of our war and if we're going to keep fighting it's not really going to affect us that much. That seems to be their capital so that might be their last faction left. Uh, it has the giant symbol which means if we get Tricka we can recruit giants with a special building. So let's go grab that if we can. I guess we could build the special building in a minor settlement as well. That could also work. Uh, but regardless, pretty happy we finally made some progress with our epic mission as well as uh, our first province. And hopefully things will go smoother and Poseidon and Zeus can stop taking down my uh, city. Uh, so see you guys next time. Bye!